and a guide to Tanan, and welcome to our physical education and health class. I am your teacher, Sir Justin Romer S. Monteroy. You can call me Sir Justin or Sir Romer. For our first lesson, we will be talking about aerobic, bone strengthening, and muscle strengthening. Now, on the right side of our screen is our guide or our objectives. It is actually a guide for us to know what are we expected to do or to learn during or after this discussion. The first one is to differentiate physical activity from exercise. So this term, physical activity and exercise, are both vital in our subject. The second one is differentiate aerobic, bone strengthening, and muscle strengthening. We needed to differentiate these terms because these are actually our lessons for today. And the last one is to recognize the importance of this physical activity. For us to know, know the essence of why we are learning this um, topic. To start with, let us have a review on both terms, physical activity and exercise. I'm very sure that we already have prior knowledge about these terms. So here are actually the definitions for the two terms which can actually help us to further understand them. The first one is for physical activity. To sum it up, it actually refers to any bodily movement that we do. So any movement that we do, such as gestures, facial expressions, are part of physical activity. So anything that we actually do when we move, that is actually a physical activity already. What about exercise? Since physical activity talks about movement, it is actually safe to say that exercise is part of physical activity. But not all physical activities can be called as exercise class. Huh? It actually depends no, on the type of activity that we are performing. Later, we will know when can we say that a physical activity is an exercise. But as per now, the difference between the two, physical activity and exercise, is that physical activity is any bodily movement, while exercise is a part of physical activity. Now, there are actually different types of physical activity, and there are also domains. Here are the four domains of physical activity. Occupational, domestic, transportation, and leisure. Now, these four domains are actually categories of physical activities because we all know that we are actually performing lots of movements every day. And because of those number of movements, it can actually be categorized depending on its purpose. So we can also say that these four domains are actually four reasons why we perform physical activity. The first one is for occupational for our occupation or for our work. As a teacher, for example, the physical activity or movements that I do is to check your test paper, to write questions. It could be climbing the stairs because in our schools, we have lots of stairs, diba. Right? Um, another example is if I am someone working as a driver, what are the activities that I needed to perform? It could be controlling the controlling the wheels, no, or manipulating the vehicle. So, in the domain of occupational, we can uh, we can actually create lots of question. Um, one question is: Is occupational limited to work alone? What about those um, people who do not have work? Cannot they perform this occupational domain? Well, actually, occupational is not limited to work, but it is also it can also refer to your role in the society. Like, for example, what is your role in the society right now? Okay, right now, you are a student. As a student, you are expected to make or to perform these physical activities or these movements. As a student, you needed to take down notes um, you needed to talk, you are expected to move from one place to another during your activities. So let us not forget physical um, occupational talks about the movements that you perform in relation to your role in the society. For our next domain, we have domestic. Take note that when we talk about domestic, we usually associate this at home. 
So therefore, domestic refers to any movement that we do in our home. It could be um, washing the dishes, uh, do, do, doing household chores to be, uh, to be more general, doing the laundry, so on and so forth. The next one is transportation. Transportation refers to movement in moving from one place to another. What are those transportation um what are those movements that we do um in order for us to move from one place to another it could be actually there are lots of unknown reasons or means in transportation it could be by walking alone so very obvious now we are actually moving through walking aside from that it could be through riding a vehicle commuting riding the bus for example if we ride the bus we are also tasked to climb the stairs diba? okay that is one of the physical activity that we needed to perform if we wanted to ride the bus under the transportation domain the last one is leisure now leisure is actually a very familiar term it talks about our free time or vacant time what do we do or what are the movements that we do during our vacant time it could be playing, playing sports, video games. It could be reading, watching televisions. Um, guided that in doing um, things during our vacant time, um, we can perform lots of movements. Okay, let us not forget the four domains of physical activity, occupational, which refers to the movements we do in relation to our role in the society. For domestic um, movements that we do at home, transportation movements that we do in order to travel leisure these are the movements that we do during our vacant time now let's go back to our first objective um, accordingly we needed to differentiate physical activity and exercise and we already have this time let's talk about exercise itself um, among these domains of physical activity where do you think this um, exercise belong so actually, exercise belongs to leisure. It belongs to the leisure domain of physical activity because we perform exercise during our vacant time. It is actually not vital in our um, schedule, no? but it is actually considered in our leisure time. So as another question is, when can we say that a physical activity can be considered as an exercise? So since there are lots of physical activity among God, and not all physical activity can be considered as exercise. Naray uban na mapilit na exercise. And then, we can say that a physical activity is an exercise when that exercise or that activity develops a certain part of our body. Develops or uh, maintain a certain part of our body. For example, what are those activities we needed to perform in order to develop our abs? So, kanang activity, that is what we call exercise. And please be guided, when we do exercise, we need to perform it regularly. So, dili kay kasalang buhaton. If kasalang buhaton, dili na na siya consider as exercise. So, we need to perform it regularly for it to be called as exercise. Okay, we have here a follow-up question. Is physical activity important and why? Basically, very obvious, no? physical activity is very vital for survival because we cannot actually survive without moving. Imagine if we cannot move, we would actually really get to survive. And it also depends no, if naatay kauban. But in the end, we will be very dependent to our companion and not all the time naatay kauban. And now let's move on to the three main types of physical activities, aerobic, muscle strengthening, and bone strengthening. Let us not to be confused this with the domains huh? because those domains are the four possessed. Canicilla, these are the types of physical activities. To start with, let's discuss aerobic activities by reading the definition. I will assume that you are already done reading, no? Um, to sum it up, this is actually a long definition, but if we describe it, if we elaborate it, this is actually a very simple term. Aerobic activities refers to the activities that cause our heart and lungs to um, beat faster. 
in Bisaya, this is what we call hanging, no? Hanging when we play basketball. Kung sa kakadugay, uh, dili hangakon. Mm, how long will you last in playing basketball? In English, it is called, English, in English, it is called um, cardio or endurance. So, it is basically talks about activities na hangakon ta, such as playing sports. Best example, ani is um, swimming and then basketball, and anything na hangakot ka. So, therefore, aerobic activities refers to any activities that will um, help improve our cardio and our cardiorespiratory endurance. The next one is muscle strengthening activities. These are actually, this is actually a very self-explanatory term, no? From the word muscle strengthening, we can conclude that these are activities that we need to perform in order to improve our muscle. Aside from that, it also improves our strength and muscle power. So the best examples Ani is are the boxing. It could also be weightlifting, no? And other examples are those exercises that we can perform at the gym. The next and last one is bone strengthening activities. So very self-explanatory Japan Sha. It refers to activities to improve our bone, to strengthen and improve our bone. Bone strengthening and muscle strengthening are actually very similar, no? Because the muscles are attached to our bones. And if we perform such activities that can improve the, either the bone or the muscle, um, automatic na ma-improve po ang isa. Let's say we want to improve our bone, our bone. So we, we needed to perform weightlifting activities. Aside from improving our bone, we are also strengthening our muscle power. Okay? So, but let us be guided that it depends always, it always depends on the situation, no? Because, for example, a person that performs um, weightlifting activities at the gym, literally, um, that activity is muscle strengthening because people that goes to the gym usually needed to improve their muscle for their body figure. But then again, it depends on the person. But that is actually a general um, accusation. So let us not forget, no, these are the four, uh, the three main types rather of physical activities. The aerobic, which refers to our endurance, our cardio endurance, muscle strengthening activities, um, activities to strengthen our muscles, and also it talks about muscle power. Bone strengthening activities talks about um, activities that strengthens our bone. Okay, um, here is actually a standard, a table containing a standard on the amount of physical activities that we needed to perform depending on our age. For example, if you belong to the age from 5 to seven, 17, so you needed to perform a 60-minute um, physical activity three times a week. And then if adult, kalahi po imuhang um, requirement, standard rather. For the next slide, we will be talking about the benefits of physical activity, risk of insufficient physical activity, and how to increase physical activity. But this actually, this is actually a very important topic. And actually, for our definitions here, it is actually very easy to understand. And it is actually better, it would be better if we can just read this on our own. So for this um, discussion, I want you to check your Genu account. Um, for now, wala pa man tayo Genu account. Please visit your Google Classroom and then you can check your material and the informations about this thing. Um, these three topics is um, can be found in your material. And that is the end of our discussion. Thank you for listening. If you have questions, do not hesitate to contact me at my Facebook account. Thank you and God bless.